Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The wand factory. Oh, strawberry. Isn't it a lovely morning? Yes, Nanny Plum. Hi, Holly. Hi, Strawberry. Have you come to join us for wands practice? No. I came to see if Holly wanted to play. But now you can join us for wands practice. Uh, but I don't know where my wand is. You're holding it. Oh, yes. So I am. Come along. You know how much fun wand practice is. Ugh. Right. Now you can practice lifting rocks with magic. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. down. Up and down. down. Very good. Keep it going. Up and down. down. Up and down. Oh. Oh. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Strawberry. Do you want to play football? We can't. We have to do wand practice. Up and down. Up and down. Aren't you supposed to be gentle with your wands? It's OK. Wands are very strong. You don't want to break them. Don't be silly. They never break. Show him, Holly. Hit your wand on that rock. OK. <gasps> oh, dear. Holly, strawberry. How's wands practice going? Uh, not very well. Holly's broken her wand. How did that happen? I was waving it very gently and she bashed it on a rock. That wasn't very clever. Sorry, Nanny. Not to worry. We'll just get it mended. Hooray! Are you going to mend it with magic, Nanny? Oh, no. I can't mend it. Why not? Wands make magic, but magic can't make wands. It's like chickens and eggs. Chickens make eggs, but eggs don't make chickens. But eggs do make chickens. Whatever. The important thing is, I can't mend wands by magic. So, who can mend it? The elves that made it. Elves? Do elves make wands? Of course they do. Everyone knows that. Elves are very good at making wands. And we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> to the Elf Factory. Look, Nanny, wands are magic. And elves don't do magic. Elves don't use the wands, Holly. They just make them. Good morning. Can I help you? Um, I've broken my wand. She bashed it on a rock. One moment, please. Wise old elf. Wise old elf, please report to reception immediately. Ah, Princess Holly, what can I do for you? Holly's broken her wand. She bashed it on a rock. I see. Not to worry. We'll just mend it. Follow me. Now you will need these hard hats. Ooh. <laughs> we'll be taking the train. Ooh. All aboard. Hold tight, everyone. We're going deep down. How deep down? Level 500. The Wand Factory. <laughs> level 500? It's the deepest level there is. Why is the Wand Factory so deep underground? Because wands are magic. And elves don't like magic. So we built the Wand Factory as deep underground as possible. <laughs> My tummy. Now, what's wrong with your wand? It broke itself. She bashed it on a rock. Yes, yes, but we need to find out exactly what's wrong with your wand. Ooh. The X-ray shows it needs a new stick and a cog service. This way. 
This is the stick house, where we grow wooden sticks for wands. But there are loads of sticks just lying around in the meadow. Ah, but the stick for a wand must be specially grown. And made from the right type of tree. Correct, Nanny Plum. The wood for my wand comes from a plum tree, because I am Nanny Plum. The wood for your wand, Holly, should come from a... Holly tree! Exactly. So, Strawberry, what tree does your wand come from? Um, it must come from a strawberry tree. Oh. Let's see how that feels. Hmm, it's a bit big. It just needs a little trim. This stage of wand repair is a mixture of woodwork and gardening. Is my wand mended now? I'm not yet, Princess Holly. We need to mend the head. Follow me. This is the clockwork room. Ooh. Spinny Ickle to Clamp, please. Spinny Ickle Poo Clamp. Wooble Cone. Wooble Cone. Oh, looks very complicated. Mending a wand head is a mixture of surgery and watchmaking. Ah! The Fidge Fudge Rotter Whistle Stick. Whistle Stick. Hmm, interesting. That doesn't sound right. Very good. Hooray! Can we go home now? Not yet, Nanny Plum. Holly's wand needs testing. To the testing room. The wand testing room. It is the safest place to do magic in the kingdom. Why do you need a special room to do magic? We don't want the magic leaking out and causing trouble. Where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Safe and sensible magic is what we do here. What's he doing? He's setting up the testing robot to do a magic spell. What's that? Lemonade. We're going to test the wand by turning the lemonade into something else. Is it going to turn into a golden coach? Or a monster with a hundred eyes and three legs? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> the lemonade has turned into water. Why would you want to do that? That's not magic. It's very sensible magic. It's rubbish magic. Well, what would you turn it into? How about this? Ah! You did magic outside the test room. Oh, it's a lemon. I meant to turn it into a frog. Nanny Plum. My one's not working right. It's rattling. Oh, I see what you mean. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. When did you last have this wand serviced? Ten years ago. Wands should be serviced once a year. Here, try that. Yes, that's much better. Nanny, you turned the wise old elf into a frog. So I did. Are you going to turn him back again? Oh, I suppose I'll have to. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Very good. Your wand seems to be working perfectly. Don't wait ten years before getting it serviced again. Yes, wise old elf. Sorry. Thank you for mending my wand, wise old elf. You're welcome, Princess Holly. <laughs> It's good to have you back again, Wand. I promise to take special care of you from now on. Yes, don't bash it on a rock. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> to 
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Queen Holly. Children, your mother and I are going away for the day on royal business. Which means you will be at home, alone with Nanny Plum. Ooh. Everything will be fine, your majesties. So no funny business. I don't want to come home to find the kingdom covered in frogs or jelly or anything. No, no Daddy. Daddy. Because while we're away, you represent King and Queen Thistle. Does that mean I can be queen? <laughs> well, I suppose it does. Just for today. Brilliant. Magic car. Drive on. Bye. Bye. Be good. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> queen Holly. Hmm, I like the sound of that. <clears throat> Hello. I'm Queen Holly. <laughs> oh, hello, Ben. Hello, Nanny Plum. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Holly's much too busy to play today. She has a kingdom to run. Huh? Ben! Come up here, quick! OK. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Queen Holly to you. What? Mummy and Daddy have gone on a trip today and left me in charge of the whole kingdom. Wow! So I'm Queen Holly. Hello. Hello, Nanny Plum. I've come to collect Ben Elf. It's time for school. OK, I'll just... Nanny, send the wise old elf up. I'll sort this out. Very well, Your Majesty. Enter. Hello, Princess Holly. I'm not Princess Holly. I am Queen Holly today. I've got no time for these fun and games. I've come to collect Ben for school. Oh. Wait, Ben. Mummy and Daddy are away today. So I am in charge of the whole kingdom. Is this true, Nanny Plum? I'm afraid so. And I have just decided that Ben does not have to go to school today. It's the law. Well, this is most unusual. In fact, there'll be no school for anyone today. No school for anyone? Yes. It's the law, because I am Queen Holly. Um, as you wish, Queen Holly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. The children will be most upset when they hear the news. Children, I'm afraid Queen Holly has informed me there will be no school today. What shall we do all day? Uh, play games! Yes, you've got to play games and be happy because I am Queen Holly! Thank you, Queen Holly! Right, Mr Elf, next on the list a delivery of food for the little castle. Right ho, Mrs Elf. Gosh, what a busy day. Yes, but elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> <laughs> Make way, elf at work. There's no work today, Mr Elf. It's a holiday. Is this true, wise old elf? <laughs> 
I'm afraid so. But I've got an urgent delivery of food for the little castle. I suggest you come back tomorrow. Righty ho. Bye. Bye. Soaking the food? I'm getting a bit hungry. Me too. And me. And me. And me. Queen Holly. We're hungry. Very well. I command you to eat something. <laughs> Being queen is easy peasy. But no one has made any food. Everyone's on holiday. Oh. Queen Holly, if you would allow the elves back to work, we could make everyone lunch. No, no. You all have to have a nice day's holiday. It's the law. But we're hungry. We need food. Uh, I'll make food. Hooray! Now, what do you eat on holiday? Ice cream. Yes, that's it. You shall all eat ice cream. Hooray! Thank you, Queen Holly. Where are we going? To the kitchen. We can use Nanny Plum's cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abracadoo, abracabom. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. Ice creams for everyone. Ooh, thank, thank you. you. I'll be back with more. <laughs> Oh, there's quite a lot. Will it stop soon? Uh, I think I told it to make ice cream all day long. Oh, dear. <laughs> ah, we'll soon be home. Yes, and it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes, Holly must be behaving herself. The king and queen aren't here to see all this mess. It's the king and queen. Hooray! It's very nice of you all to welcome us home like this. May I be the first to say how pleased we are to see you back again, your majesties. While you were away... Yes, yes. I'm a bit tired, so if you'll excuse me... Ah, stop! Uh, maybe you should go for a little walk, Your Majesty. I've just got a bit of tidying up to do inside. Thank you, Nanny Plum, but all I want to do now is have a nice bath. <gasps> yeah! Ah, ice cream. I'm sorry, Daddy. It's all my fault. I try to be a good queen and make everybody happy, but it's a lot harder than you'd think. <laughs> yes, Holly, I know it is. Especially with elves. Elves are never happy. <clears throat> we are happy when we are busy. Elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, I command you to go back to work at once. Hooray! And your first job will be to clean up all this ice cream. Thank you, Your Majesty. Three cheers for King Thistle. And Queen Holly. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! 
today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Lucy's Picnic. Now, children, is everyone ready for the tour of the Elf Factory? Yes! This way, please. <laughs> All aboard! Next stop, level 99. Hold tight! <laughs> ah, my tummy! <laughs> Here we are, the Elf Factory. Goodness me, look at all this rubbish. Don't you ever tidy up? This isn't rubbish, Nanny Palum. These are the raw materials we use to make toys. The plastic bottles are made into gloop. <laughs> the old tin cans are made into clockwork gobs. And the old paper and card goes into the pulping machine and get squished into flat sheets, which are folded into new boxes for our toys. Wow! That's very clever. Elves are very clever. And we're elves! <laughs> this way... Whee! Whee! The Elf Factory produces one new toy every second. What happens when you go to bed? Does the Elf Factory stop? Certainly not. We work day and night to make sure the children of the world get their toys. The Elf Factory never stops. Oh, the Elf Factory stopped. What? Slight problem, I'm afraid, wise old elf. We've run out of plastic, metal and old paper. Let's just magic up some more. No, not magic. We're elves and we... Ugh, don't do magic. So what are you going to do? We'll simply go to the Great Elf Tower. Ooh. To the Great Elf Tower. Tower. What is the Great Elf Tower? Oh, it's a wondrous place. I've never heard of it. The Great Elf Tower gives us all the things we need to make toys. How does it do that? When big people have picnics in the Little Kingdom, they put plastic bottles, tin cans and old papers into the Great Elf Tower. We're here. Behold! The Great Elf Tower. Where? All I can see is a litter bin. What? Big people and fairies might call it a litter bin, but to us it is the Great Elf Tower. Why are you wearing those funny clothes? They're not funny. These are safety clothes. The Great Elf Tower can be very dangerous. And very smelly. Here goes... Uh, uh, Keep going. You're uh, almost there. Uh, uh, Have you found lots of things for making toys? Uh, not yet. It's a bit dark. I'll go down and take a closer look. Oh, dear. I think the Great Elf Tower is empty. Oh. Uh. Mummy, Daddy, can I have some more jelly, please? <laughs> Dad, I can oh, hear big people. Sandwiches. We must stay out of their way. Big people have very big feet. Come on, Rex. That was a lovely picnic. Let's tidy up. OK, Dad. I'll take the litter to the bin. Thank you, Lucy. Come on, Rex. <laughs> That's the sound of big people. Quick! Get out of the bin! Huh? 
What was that? I said, get out of the bin! It's not a bin! It's the Great Elf Tower! Just get out of there, you silly old elf! Excuse me! <laughs> Ooh, a little fairy! Uh, hello! <laughs> Ooh, and a smelly little fairy! I am not a smelly little fairy! I'm a smelly little elf! <laughs> it's that little girl we met at the farm! Yes, it's Lucy! Hello, Ben! Hello, Holly! We're having a picnic. Look, Gaston, it's Rex. <laughs> he likes you because you're smelly. Charmed, I'm sure. Ooh, you've brought all your friends from Fairyland. This isn't Fairyland. It's the Little Kingdom. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho! Lift ho! Lift, 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 lift! Catch ho! Catch, catch ho! Catch, 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 catch! But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow! I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. Wow! Look at that tree. There are little windows in it. I wonder if there are any fairies inside. Ah! It's all right, Mum. It's just our friend Lucy. Oh, uh, uh, nice to meet you, Lucy. Hello. Here's a little present to remind you of your visit. It's our latest toy, fresh from the factory. Wow, thanks. Is this made from my rubbish? Yes, that's why we're very grateful to you for putting rubbish in the Great Elf Tower. What's the Great Elf Tower? He means the litter bin. You're welcome. Thanks for showing me your tree. I always thought fairies lived in castles. For the last time, we are not fairies. We're elves! <laughs> in a castle, Lucy. Come and see! Wow! A real fairy castle! Ah! It's OK, Daddy. It's only Lucy, the little girl. <clears throat> Hello, Lucy. How do you do? Oh, another little elf. I'm not an elf. I'm a fairy king. Nice to meet you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Lucy! Home time. Oh, I have to go now. Thanks for leaving all the stuff in the bin. Don't you mean the Great Elf Tower? <laughs> uh. <laughs> he really does like you. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Oh, dear. The car won't start. Look. It says empty on the petrol gauge. No petrol? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I wish we could help them. Uh, Nanny Plum, maybe you could sort this out with a bit of um fairy thingy. Fairy thingy? What's that? Mm, you, you know, the stuff you do with your wand. Oh, do you mean magic, wise old elf? Yes. Mm, magic. Very well. Magic it is. Thunder and lightning! North wind blow! Go, car! Go, go, go! There. Just enough fairy dust to get them home. Oh, we've got no petrol, but the car's working. Maybe this car is so modern it doesn't need petrol. Well, ask at the garage. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Thanks for mending the car. Lucy, who were you talking to? I met some elves and fairies. <laughs> That's nice. The car is shiny today. I've never seen it so sparkly. It's fairy dust. <laughs> what 
such a sweet idea. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Elf Factory. What's the plan for today, Nanny Plum? You're visiting the Elf Factory. Why? Well, Your Majesty, it's a very busy time of the year for the Elf Factory. What with Christmas coming up. So, what's that got to do with me? You have to inspect the toys and make sure they are perfect. <laughs> that sounds fun. Well, it's not fun, Holly. The toys are always perfect and all I say is, they're perfect. Do I have to go? Well, someone has to. They're expecting a royal visit. I could go and I could say the toys are perfect. Yes, why not? And Nanny Plum can go along too to look after you. Oh, goody! Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. We've come to see the Elf Factory. Do you know where it is? Of course I do. I'm an elf. <laughs> so where is it? Follow me. <laughs> Elf Factory Reception. Good morning. Can I help you? Hello. Princess Holly is here for the royal visit. I see. Could you sign in, please? Uh, what do I do? Just put your name and job. My name is Princess Holly and my job is being a pretty fairy princess. Very good. Now, you will need these hard hats. <laughs> And I notice you have wands. Yes, we're fairies. I'll need to take your wands. No magic is allowed in the elf factory. Elves don't do magic. And we are elves. <laughs> oh, now... Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the factory is very busy today. We have a big toy order for Father Christmas. Wow! Is that Father Christmas? Oh, I shouldn't think so, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Mr Christmas. Can I speak to the wise old elf? Yes, yes. I shall get him right away. <laughs> Telephone call for the wise old elf. Please, Please report, report to reception, reception immediately. immediately. Hello, Princess Holly. Hello, wise old elf. It's Father Christmas. Oh, excuse me a moment. Hello? Hello, wise old elf. Will those dolls be ready in time for Christmas? Yes, Mr Christmas. We'll definitely have the dolls ready today. And you will make sure they have a pretty red dress, won't you? Yes, she'll have a lovely red dress. Thank you. Goodbye. Is this the doll you're making for Father Christmas? Yes. We're making hundreds of them, and they have to be ready today. Can we see how you make them? Of course. This way, we'll be taking the train. Ooh. All aboard. First stop, level one, the computer room. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Level one, the computer room. <laughs> that was fun. Ooh, it made my tummy all funny. Good, wasn't it? And it'll be even better next time. What do you mean, next time? <laughs> You'll see. Follow me. This is where we decide what the toys will look like. Don't you just make it up as you go along? Oh, no, no, no. The toys are designed to the very last detail. Nothing is left to chance. Gosh, it seems like a lot of hard work to me. We pride ourselves on our thoroughness. This is where we choose the colours. That's the doll for Father Christmas. Yes. Now, for example, if I wanted to, I could change the colour of the doll's dress from red to blue. 
blue dress. The elf factory would then know to paint the doll's dress blue. But Father Christmas wants the dress red. Of course he does, Princess Holly. That was just an example. All aboard! Next stop, the elf factory. Oh, we don't have to go down again, do we? <laughs> yes, Nanny. The factory is deep down in the roots of the tree. How deep down? Very, Very deep down. down. Oh. <laughs> All aboard! We're not going down very much. Just you wait, Holly. Next stop, level 99. Hold tight. <gasps> no! Oh. <laughs> ah, my tummy! This is fun! Whee! <laughs> level 99. The Elf Factory. And the Gloop Machine. The what? The Gloop Machine. Wow. This way, Princess Holly. Please feel free to ask any questions. <laughs> OK. Hello. What do you do? I pull this lever, Princess. What else do you do? I pull this lever and the gloop comes out. Don't you get bored? Elves never get bored. And I'm an elf. Thank you. Now, moving on... That's the moulding machine. Ooh! And what do you do? I press this button. All day? Yes, all day. You must be very patient. Elves are very patient, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> what happens next? Next is the paint room. This is where the toys are painted. What's fun? Hello, everybody. Hello, Every elf has their bit to paint. One paints the eyes, another the mouth, and another the hair. Amazing! I thought it would be all done by machine. No, we do it all by hand. It looks such hard work. Elves like hard work, but we're elves! Well, thank goodness I'm a fairy. Shush, Nanny! Once the dress is painted, the doll goes through to the dryer. And then it's packed, ready for delivery. And here we are, the finished doll. A perfect example of elf workmanship. Isn't the doll's dress supposed to be red? What? Oh, oh you're quite right, Princess Holly. Oh, never mind. Some mistakes occur when you're making so many dolls. But they've all got blue dresses. Oh, she's right. We'll have to unpack them all and paint them again. But there's not enough time. I could sort this out in a moment with a bit of magic. Magic is not allowed in the elf factory. OK. I'll just ring up Father Christmas and tell him what's happened. <gasps> I'm sure he'll understand. No, no, don't ring Father Christmas. Uh, maybe Nanny Plum can use a bit of magic just this once. Good. First, I need my wand. <laughs> ah, hello, wand. Ahem, blue to red. <laughs> Thank you. It was nothing, really. Just a simple spell. A chair for Nanny Plum, please. What's this for? One down, 999 to go. Oh. Blue to red. Blue to red. Blue to red. 
<laughs> Gosh, Nanny, you must be so patient. Yes, Nanny Plum, we'll make an elf of you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an elf. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> We'll be having porridge for breakfast. Hooray! <laughs> porridge! Porridge! <laughs> but the porridge pot is empty. Yes, Holly. Daisy and Poppy will be practising their magic this morning. Nanny Plum has taught them a simple porridge spell. <laughs> <laughs> wandy, wandy! I've got a bad feeling about this. Just to be clear, Nanny Plum, nothing's going to go wrong, is it? No, Your Majesty. I don't want another magic jelly flood. That was jelly. Porridge is a very different beast. And Daisy and Poppy have been practising so hard. <laughs> Little porridge pot, fill, fill, fill. Well done, Daisy and Poppy. Hee <laughs> hee. The twins should make breakfast more often. Hmm. It's quite tasty. More, more, more. Daisy, Poppy, stop! More, 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 more! Ah! 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 Stop it, Nanny! Little porridge pot! Stop! Yuck! I'm covered in horrible gooey porridge, thanks to my silly little sisters. <laughs> now, now, Holly, remember, Daisy and Poppy are only babies. And we'll have this porridge cleared up in a flash. I'd forgotten the twins knew how to say more. More! More! Oh, when I was a baby, the first word I said was bang! That's not a good word for a magical baby to know. Bang! 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 Is Mummy your wand? Ah! I'll be off then. My friends are coming round to play. Ah, yes, Holly. Mummy and I were thinking it would be fun if you and your friends played with Daisy and Poppy today. But, Daddy! It would be a chance for the twins to learn your games. But, Mummy! Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Coming out to play, Holly. Sorry, Fleur. I can't come out to play. Why not? Uh, Daisy and Poppy are with me, so we have to play in the courtyard. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so sweet and ickle. They're not sweet. Wandy, Wandy! Do you want to hold my wand? It's glittery, isn't it? No, Fleur! <laughs> Kitty cat! <gasps> Meow! <laughs> ah! I see your friends have brought a little kitten along. Meow! Uh, that's Fleur! She gave Daisy her wand. I see. Run away, kitten! Come back, Fleur. And which poor friend was turned into this insect? No, Mummy. That's Gaston the ladybird. He's meant to be like that. <coughs> ah, yes, of course. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> now, children, the twins are only little, so please play gently. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And the twins must stay in the courtyard. Yes, Mummy. Have fun. <laughs> wow, your little sisters are something else. I know, they're a menace. So keep hold of your wand, Fleur. But they're so sweet and echo. I'm sure they didn't mean to turn me into a kitten. Meow, meow. <laughs> So, what game shall we play? How about hide and seek? Hidey, hidey! The only problem is the twins can't count yet. I'll help them count. I'm very good at counting. OK. Now close your little eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, let's 
side. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not? Oh, where are the twins? Daisy, Poppy. It's not safe for you to fly so high. Kitty Cathy! Meow! <laughs> wow! Nurse turned into a kitten again! Run away, kitten. Come back first. So where are the twins? And um, they kind of flew away. They've escaped! Uh. And they've sort of got my wand. Goodness knows what damage they might do. Don't worry, we'll find them. Elves are good at that sort of thing. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> so, how are you going to find them? Easy. Gaston can sniff them out. <laughs> Gaston, find Daisy and Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. We better ring your mummy and daddy. Bunny rabbit! Now, now, Daisy, that wasn't very nice. Bunny rabbit! What's going on? Bunny rabbit! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we found my little sisters. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> wow! Look at all those rabbits. That one's wearing my dad's hat. Puppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity. They've turned all the elves into rabbits. Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty Catty. Meow. Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow. <laughs> Birdy Wordy. Birdy Wordy. Phew. Do you think that's it? Yes. Luckily, birds can't hold wands. Ah, <coughs> oh, Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Puppy have been doing a bit of magicking. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies, come back elves. Fly away birdies, come back twins. Holly, you were supposed to be looking after your little sisters. But Nanny, the twins are impossible. They are a bit of a handful. Well, I suppose no harm was done. No harm done? They turned us all into rabbits. I know. I'm most impressed. <laughs> but, but... The little darlings are getting really good at magic. Foggy, foggy. I think I'll take those ones. We won't be needing any more magic today. But Nanny Plum, we can't just leave her as a frog. Can't we? No, I suppose not. All right, Holly. Magic her back again. Hop away, frog. Come back, Nanny. Good night, my little ones. Sleep well. Ah, oh, they're fast asleep already. Well, they have had a very busy day, Your Majesty. 
I expect playing with you big children really tired them out, Holly. Uh, yes, Mummy. Something like that. I wonder what sweet little dreams they're having. Tiger, tiger, alligator. Crocodile. 